Hey, hello everybody. Oh, I had a really hard time finding time to, to, to do this, this recording. So, but then I kind of realized that I've been giving this talk and re in a recorded fashion at, and in good circumstances a few times. So I'm going to do a little bit of a medley to, to talk through the past year. And basically whatever I was supposed to talk about here is there much better than I would actually ever do now. So anyway, so let me start sharing my screen. Uh, the one, ah, oh, there you go, uh, share. I mean, I don't know whether people remember, this is my QPL talk from last year. Uh, the, the, this was just crazy. In, in the sense I introduced this paradigm. So I was, talk, I was talking about guitar pedals. I was talking about Which guitar pedals, and I actually wanted to introduce guitar pedals as a new symbol in maths. And then we, of course, had to show what these guitar pedals do. Like, I mean, I mean, I mean, the craziest part of this story is that since since the past year, there's at least six papers which have adopted this guitar pedal paradigm, and they use all these symbols of guitar pedals and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, uh, no, no. Okay, so okay. Well, come on, Bob. Come on, Bob. Move on. You're slow. Come on, Bob. Okay, Bob is playing there. Okay, it actually became really funny. When 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 the noise filters. Took away the guitar, like okay, that's still okay. Like, I mean, anyway, whatever, whatever. So, okay, that was that talk. Let me stop that. So, uh, I mean, but this 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 wasn't the same topic as I was supposed to talk about now. And then you could ask yourself, can you outdo anything like that? Like, because that was kind of, kind of. Uh, I mean, I, I put a job into that, you know, to make. And I know the organizer of QPL single this out as like a something they'll never forget. And a few weeks later, I kind of went a step further, I think, uh, in a talk which was at Sam Space, uh, no, no. where I... Well, it wasn't easy. Like I was changing accents and stuff like that. It wasn't obvious. And then we also did like a demo. Oh, that's Alexis and Giovanni are here too. Right. So this is really what I want to talk about today. You know, in this talk, what he's talking about. Right. So, so one thing we did was, okay, there, there again. Okay, there again, there. So we did a, well, that's Constantinos. Okay, so we, we I took, a, I built like an IBM quantum computer in my top, and I did an, actually an effective experiment on that one. Some stuff, some stuff into the quantum computer. Right, some stuff into the quantum computer. What is this stuff? Before, like things known to be true. Things right. And then you get some then you get some stuff out. Oh, here we go. We got an answer. And it's the right one. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that was that one. Now this was not that very serious. I mean, if you want to see this story a little bit more senior serious, this is from Q2B, which is like now the leading quantum two business conference. And, uh, and oh, they still put University of Oxford. Okay, it doesn't matter. Because I was uh, there for Cambridge Quantum. Uh, well, uh -uh. I am still in the same place, you know, but I was kind of a more. That was kind of a more. I mean, if I would have given a talk here now, Pretty much have been this talk, you know, and then so I can 
I can go back to it. Oh, let me sort of try to find. Okay, here is a slide. So, so this story, which I was supposed to talk about today, goes goes back to the time that uh, Marlouche, Steve Clark, and myself were all at Oxford, and and we were trying to combine meaning and grammar. Same time, we were working very hard on categorical quantum mechanics, and it turned out that the natural way to combine meaning and grammar in language was through a quantum model. Oh. For many years, we actually didn't treat this as a quantum model. We just treated this as something that was just around, like uh, just like helper space was around when von Neumann used it for quantum mechanics, really. Um, but yeah, with quantum computers around, I mean, it, it, it actually become relevant. It becomes relevant to see whether I can get it right. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I'm using the slides from a previous talk on YouTube. So I'm looking for now the, the slide with Will. Will, where are you? Oh, there's Will. So, so with Will, we then actually looked at what advantage this gives you algorithmically, but we didn't really understand everything properly yet at the time, just because the paradigms for, for what quantum computers do today weren't even formed yet. So a lot of this paper I was presenting today is about the, how these paradigms actually came about. And there's a few things maybe I should emphasize there, like um, which, which, which is the first fact that everybody learns at school that uh, it's very hard to get information from a quantum state, like measure it, like uh, you, can't just, you can't just access it. As it turns out, the opposite is very true too. Uh, it's very hard to actually get something in a quantum computer efficiently. So whatever Will and I then were assumed, it kind of didn't work. So now people use this, uh, the, this paradigm of variational quantum circuits. So it, may, it basically takes circuits, parameterized circuits, and you train the variables. So in a way, they're classical variables, but you train the variables. For us, these circuits are a pieces of, I mean, are basically pieces of text where the circuit structure represents grammar or other linguistic structure and all that. And the, the variables is the way you actually learn the meaning. So we're actually doing some machine learning. We're not actually ever planning to do it. Like we, just the way you get, get stuff in a quantum computer. Um, this is particularly really nice because, because just the paradigm of how now you get stuff into a quantum computer using these circuits, it kind of means that grammar came for free. While all the stuff we were doing on classical computers, grammar was like exponentially expensive. So I think we had last year this QPL paper with a bunch of people. There they are. Uh, which was basically fixing all these things of uh, the paper of Will and I, like, like just to actually make it on a current quantum computer. But I wasn't, I wasn't happy at all with the way we things were set out there. So, so the, the very long paper I submitted this year, like it was 40 pages or something like that, which of course is not a lot, that actually gives, I think, the, uh, the, the right way to do things. So, yeah, uh, okay. Well, do I have anything more to say? I don't know. Like, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I mean, I think I, I think I'm, okay. So, I mean, since I was gonna do a medley of talks, uh, this is kind of a moving thing, especially from the machine learning perspective. And recently I gave a two and a half hour long talk for uh, uh, something which is called quantum machine learning street talk, machine learning street talk. So this was like a, a two and a half hour long thing. And then, I mean, it's crazy. In one week it got like 5,000 views because this stuff seems to be popular. And then, I mean, that's really where we have to go. We have to go build language and stuff like that. And still things start to think about all of that. Now, now this picture is kind of cool because you see two Russells there. I don't know how this comes because it's supposed to be a third one too somewhere. Uh, anyway, so anyway, so that, that's like I said, there's a medley of four talks I gave you uh, where pretty much you can get everything I, I was supposed to talk about. So there is this one. Uh, which is sense space. So if you Google sense space for the start, you get this one. If you Google Q2B 2020, you get a more serious one. So, and if you Google uh, machine learning straight talk, you get like a very, very long one about lots of, lots and lots of stuff surrounding the stuff I was supposed to talk about today. So 
So, okay. Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, I think I see you all for the business session, which is an important new thing, I think, at QPL this year. And after the business session, you're all welcome here in the pub where I'm sitting now. Bye-bye. I have to figure out how to stop this thing here. Stop share, okay? And I'll stop recording, I guess.